राम श्रद्धा प्रभु इज हियर नमो विष्णु पाधाय भक्ति प्रज्ञान केशव अतिवर्तचरित्राय स्वाशिलानिने जीवदुखे सदाताय नाम प्रेम प्रदान कल्पतरुभ कृपा नमो महाबदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य गुरवे गौरचंद्रा राधिकाय तदाल कृष्णा कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ताय नमो नम यंग्रजतमुपेतमेतकृत्यंपायनुपीरकातरयाजुहाव पुत्रे तन्मैतयातर्वोने तंगूतरीदय मुनिमा नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरंग चरोतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदी My <coughs> millions of humble obeisances in the Lord's feet of my Guru Dev, Om Vishnu Bhat, Shrutta Shishmat Bhakti Prakyan, Kesavu Swami Maharaj. And then, in the Lord's feet of my Shiksha Guru, Om Vishnu Bhat, Shishmat Bhakti. वेदांत स्वामी महाराज टुडे इज वेरी सीक्रेट डे द बर्थ डे ऑफ मई गुरुदेव ही वॉज द राइट आर्म ऑफ हिज गुरुदेव फ्रॉम बिगिनिंग ऑफ हिज लाइफ He left college and he wanted to serve his Guru Dev Sri La Prabhupada Bhakti Shiddham Sarswati Goswami Thakur. So, in the age of sixteen, when he was studying in college, he left. From beginning, me she. From his birth, he was so merciful. He wanted to serve all those who were unhappy, suffering. He 
यो मेनी यो नो मेनी थिंग्स अबाउट हिम एस्पेशली लाइक रूप गोस्वामी पाद फुलफिल द डिजायर ऑफ हिज गुरुदेव श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित जैन भूत स्वयं रूप कदा वैम तदा शपथ इट फुलफिल ऑल द डिजायर दैट चैतन्य महाप्रभु है ही डिसेंटेड टू दिस वर्ल्ड हो आज श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु सचिनंदन गौर है वाई ही कैम टू दिस वर्ल्ड और वल्ली रूप गोस्वामी न्यू ऑल दिस थिंग ही न्यू ऑल फ्रॉम द इंस्पिरेशन ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु एट अलाहाबाद प्रयाग एंड इन जगतनाथ ही टोल्ड हिज ऑल एसोसिएट नित्यानंद प्रभु स्वरूप दामोदर राय रामानंद गदाधर पंडित हो दैट यू शुड बी मर्सिफ टू दिस बॉय सो दैट ही कैन नो माई हार्ट एंड ही कैन एस्टैब्लिश माई ऑल डिजायर एंड सी दरू को सन एस्टैब्लिश ऑल दिस थिंग so my guru de who is full will all desire of his guru padpa externally and internally so he had done so many things that if he was not in this world then a occasion came that the teachings of sri la prabhupad bhakti siddhant saraswati may washed for ever from this world but our guru de he again established his everything establishing गौड़ीय पत्रिका भागवत पत्रिका सोमिनी इंग्लिश हारमोनिश प्रेस फॉर पब्लिशिंग बुक्स ही कंटिन्यूड नवदीप धाम परिक्रमा प्रजमंडल एंड ऑल ही कंटिन्यू ने अभाव अगेन टू गिव संन्यास एंड ही इंट्रोड्यूस्ड अदरवाइज it was just stopped after sila prabhupad all these things he was so bold keeping his life and soul on his hands he used to cut all the arguments though he spoke even something against his guru path but like he jumped like lion and he stop their mouths to speak anything so many court cases all did against him but always he was very victorious after sri prabhupad more he did oh one thing very important very very important in his life श्री अभी ऐसी भक्ति अभय चरणारविंद ही वॉज ए डिसाइपल ऑफ श्री प्रभुपाद भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती पुरुष और गुरुदेव ज्वाइन इन नाइनटी सिक्सटी एंड ही ज्वाइन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी थ्री परहैप्स बट फ्रॉम बिगिनिंग they were bosom friends there were so many qualified and so many learned it and tatva and all these things 
बट ही डिसाइडेड दैट आई शुड टेक सन्यास ओनली फ्रॉम श्रील भक्ति प्रज्ञान के सगोस्वामी महाराज माय फ्रेंड पूज्य पर सिद्धार्थ महाराज बन महाराज तीर्थ महाराज बैखान महाराज सो मेनी हंड्रेड्स ऑफ हिज गुरु गॉड ब्रदर्स वेर देयर बट ही कैम लाइक ए बेगर पेनीलेस मथुरा एंड ही वी ऑल रिक्वेस्टेड आई ऑल्सो रिक्वेस्टेड माई गुरुदेव रिक्वेस्ट हेम टू टेक सन्यास एट वंस एंड देन ही टोल दैट आई हैव डिसाइडेड नाउ एंड ही टूक सन्यास आई वॉज विटनेस नॉट ओनली विटनेस हेड प्रिस्ट I gave him dunder I made him dun I taught him how to learn cloth uh, cloth and all the other things so he became my also friend my shiksha guru so many relation at a time sanyas god brother and he we continue till the his departure from this world and in the same way he told me and requested me that you should give my samadhi i am not going to be here no more you should give my samadhi with your own hand and try to help my devotees that i have collected collecting them. so many things so this was a very what prominent thing he did and then he preached over the whole world you know so many things so i think <coughs> that it will be better that you should you are very qualified you so glorify that you know especially i have written everything all thing he teaching his life and everything in his life and teachings so i don't remember all now but i think you are young you are remembering all these things so i think it will be proper that there are so many bhakta speakers so in brief you should ascend for 15 minutes i think that shriman madhav maharaj should you speak first Like so, <laughs> the mic, cannot you? My was there. Then if you louder, they could not control the speed to make oh, it lower. Oh, come tomorrow. Yes, sir. Make it long. Holland, so many. And in Finland also so many. 
and from <coughs> Russia, Rus, from here and there, from Italy, huh? from where? Croatia. Croatia. And so I want to meet them personally. America. And I think that gracefully we are here. You can all meet. I want to speak face to face to all and my blessings to all. So now our class is going on. First of all, I pay my humble obeisances, the lotus feet of my Aradha Guru Pad Padma, Ong Vishnu Pad Paribraja Kachar Javar Jastotra Sarasi Madhukti Vedanta Sula Bhaman Goswami Maharaj and Ong Vishnu Pad Sis Madhukti Vedanta Sula Narayan Goswami Maharaj. After that, my Param Guru Dev, whose appearance day is today, Nittalila Prashtam Vishnu Pad Sula Bhakti Pragyan Kesav Goswami Maharaj. And I pay my obeisances to all audience who assembled here to hear Harikatha from the lotus leaf of Sula Gurudev. As Sula Gurudev command me to give some offerings the lotus feet of my Param Gurudev, I shall try at my level best to make it in brief. In his Pranam Mantra, that Gaurasaya Vigrahaya Krishna Kamai Kacharine Rupanuga Pravaraya Vinodeti Sarupine Gaurasaya Vigrahaya means who is Asaya Vigraha of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu or who has taken shelter exclusively in the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Gaurasaya Vigrahaya means Asaya Vigraha of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu means Nityananda Prabhu. So Srila Param Gurudev is manifestation of Nityananda Prabhu. So he is Gaurasaya Vigrahaya. And Krishna Kamahi Kacharine. Kam means desire. He always moves in this world, the desire of Krishna. He is a Krishna Kamahi Kacharine, not his own desire. By Krishna's desire, he came in this world why to fulfill Krishna's desire? So Krishna Kamai ka charine. All his activity depend on Krishna's desire, not like ourselves. And Rupanuga Pravaraya, the best among all Rupanuga devotee. So who is Rupanuga? Then you have to give little details. So Rupa Sahipad has explained in his Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Iste Sarasiki Raga Parama Vistata Bhave Tanmaija Bhave Bhakti Sattva Raga Dimika Odita Iste Sarasiki Raga Ista means they are Aradha Dev they are also called Diti Iste Sarasiki Raga who have spontaneous love and affection for Krishna and for the service of Krishna they are too much absorbed in his service who are they? Eternal Rajavasi in Galog Vrindavan. And for that they are bhakti called Ragatmi. Like in Braj, in Sakharas, Subal, Madhumangal, Ujjal, etc. In 
Bhatsalaras, they are so many headed by Srinanda Maharaj and Jasada Maya. In Sringaras, Lalita Visaka, etc., headed by Gaudiya Aradha, Srimati Radha Thakurani. Their eternal associates, they have rag, they have affection in their soul. So they are Agatmik Jan. Raganugam Anusikta Eya Saraganugachate. Whoever want to follow them in this world and want to enter that realm, they call Raganuga. Just like in this world, who are doing bhajan now and want to get mood of Sakharas, either Bhatsalaras or Madhuras, to get that mood, so we being bhajan in this world, to get that mood, they are called Raganuga. So among Raganuga devotee, our Paramguru Dev, Shla Bhakti Prakran Kesav Basai Maharaj is best, Rupanuga Prabhadaya. Vino de Tisharupine. Vino de Tisharupine means, by his constitutional form, his name is Vinod. So we have seen Kesav Basai Maharaj. That who is, what is his constitutional form? means in the past time of divine couple is Vinod. Vinod means to give pleasure, good pleasure. I have to explain little more details, then you can understand. Srimadhi Radha Thakurani has five types of Sakhis. Sakhi, Nitya Sakhi, Pran Sakhi, Priya Sakhi and Pyanarma Sakhi. Among them, Nitya Sakhi and Pran Sakhi, they are called Bhavalla Sati or they are roti called Bhavalla Sati or they are called Manjari. So, Vinod Adi Sarupine means he is Vinod Manjari of Srimati Radha Thakurani. What is our duty in Divine Cup in Vrindavan pastime? To give pleasure to Sri Vinod Bihari and Sri Vinodini. Vinodini means Sri Krishna's pleasure potency. How come he can, Vinod can, Vinod Manjari can give pleasure to Sri Vinod and Sri Mati Vinodini? Especially the Radhika's group, they never want that Krishna will go other than Radhika's Kunja to meet his other Sakhis. This is not their desire. They don't like at all. They could not tolerate this. If Krishna will go to opposite party of Srimati Radha Thakurani and came back from her kunja, her grove, they could not tolerate. If Krishna came after meeting with Chandravali and others, the Vinod Manjali and others headed by Rup Manjali, they could not tolerate this. <coughs> if Krishna will come on to enter his Radhika Skunja, they will, what they will tell to Krishna? Who are you? Who are you came here? Krishna told, oh, I am Hari, means I am Singha. Hari Hari Jahi. Oh no, I am Madhav, means Ma means Lakshmi, Dhav means Pati. I am husband of Lakshmi. Here you, Krishna want to say, Sarva Lakshmi Vaikanta Radhika Para Devata. I am Paramour of Srimati Radhika. And they are taking meaning that husband of Lakshmi means Vaikundhatipati Narayan. Then he told, no, I am Kesav. Kesav means Kesav Bayati Sanskaroti Iti. Please come down. So they are telling Hari Hari Jahi, Madhava Jahi, Jahi Kesav, Jahi Madhava, Mahavada Kaitava Vadam. By this way, they are want to keep Krishna away from Radhika. Is that desire to keep away Krishna from Radhika? No. Why so? Shila Jeeva Goswami Pad and Shila Vishwanath Chakraval Thakur as explained in Ujjal Nirmani in their commentary, Vinod means Vinod Vilasaha Durikaranangba. Shila Jeeva Goswami Pad and Chakraval Thakur Vinod Ananda so, by this way, they are keeping 
Krishnaya from Srimati Radhika to increase his Utkantha, eagerness for Srimati Radhika. By this way, Srila Vinod Banja is giving pleasure to Sri Vinod and Sri Vinodini. So he Vinodati Sarupine, what he did in this world. So, this is more important here. Srila Param Gurudev, his life is for, he offered his life for his Guru Seva. Because Guru Seva is the backbone of spiritual life. Just like if you have no backbone, you could not sit straight, or even could not sit, you can only lie down on the bed. So similarly, the Guru service, the steadiness in Guru Padma is backbone of spiritual life. When you join in Mot, Prabhupada told once, I want to make so many Mots here and there, in nine islands and here and there all over the world. And one disciple of Prabhupada, Saroji Basini Devi, he asked Prabhupada, you have no person with you, only very few, two or three. Who will take care of your own mars? Then Prabhupada told, why not? My Vinod will take care of everything. He, Prabhupada knows how qualified Vinod will be in the future. So he told my Vinod will take care, so no problem. So when Mayapur was completely the clutches of Mohammedan, they put so many graves here and there, so Param Gurudev thought once how to make it very pleasant. So he grows some plants, some creepers, and some flowers, and some trees, like four or five years put in top. When they became little grow, in one day, he was making fencing there. Not fencing made by making a wall. Then Mohammedans came and told, what you are doing? At that time, our Paramurde was famous by name, Vinod Babu, <coughs> like landlord, in Jaminda style always. Oh, I am making safe for you all. Then you can come and quiet, no one can disturb you. They became very happy. Oh, Vinod Babu is so merciful. He is doing so many things for us. After a few days, he took another brahmacharis and some laborers, took the old graveyard and threw it to Ganges and put the plants, mango tree, and some roses here and there. The next day when they came, they saw there is nothing left over there, like a very beautiful garden. Then they went to police. Police came for inquiry, then Paramudri told, Oh, we never seen in graveyard here. This garden of our Sriman Mahaprabhu and Nithyananda Prabhu. When we joined from 1916, I have seen this garden. How can? They told, he told me last night is the transfer. In one night, mango tree became this tall, six feet, ten feet. So many roses are blossoming here. How come it's possible in one night? They can do anywhere. Police thought, yes. Vinod Babu is speaking true. How come in one night it will be changed? <coughs> then they, no, their idea is bogus. Vinod Babu is true. Because Mahaprabhu's Jogmaya potency, they build that they are intelligent. Because any pure devotee want to do something, then Mahaprabhu and his pleasure, Jogmaya Prabhu always help them. So by this way, he rescued that land from Mohammedan. Nowadays, there is Jogpit Mandir and other we are used to go every year. And the Samadhi of Sri Bhukti Vinod Thakur, under control of Lalita Prasad, the youngest son of Sri Bhukti Vinod Thakur, one day, Param Prabhupada told, no one is here that can take that place of Bhukti Vinod Thakur in our under. Paramudev humbly did him pana, O Gurudev, O Prabhupada, if you ordered me by your order and by your customer's mercy, it will be happen, no problem. Okay, you can try. Param Gurudev, he sent some person who expert in stick, to play in stick, to beat by stick, very expert. Prabhupada, Param Gurudev told, go there in God's room, and going there will jump and beat each other. 
play each other. And Cholo, Vinod Babu is coming. Let the Prasad run away from me, otherwise, Vinod Babu will crack your head. Don't be here anymore. Vinod is coming very soon with so many persons. Seeing their activity, he became so fearful and ran away from there. When Paramudev came, then he took position there. And coming back, he told Prabhupada, now it is under your control. No more control by others. He became very happy. And Param Gurudev, always seeing Jamindari's child, used to sit on chair and keeping his feet on the table always shaking his feet. Any sannyasi or brahmachari will come, they pay their full prostration and ask something and he will reply and they will pay again full prostration and he will go. So, he will not change his position. Once, Parampujyabad, Shila Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, when he came first time, and seeing this, he became surprised. Who is this Brahmachari? So influenced. Every sannyasis are coming, they are paying obeisances. He is still in the same position. In care, he came in his mind. Then he came to ask others. We don't know. These are Vinodda. The, the Brahmachari, Mothabhati, they are not told Vinod Babu. That Vinod, that means our elder brother, Vinod Brahmachari, Vinodda. When he joined Mot, then he came to know his influence. Sila Bhakti Vinod Thakur purchased the land for Prabhupada, but the tenants not paying tax. Prabhupada was little lorry. Prabhupada was not little lorry actually. He wants to show the whole world how qualified my Vinod is in all and each, every respect. So through Param Gurudev, he collected the old tax in a day or two. So he wants to show the whole world how my Vinod Brahmachari is good manager, good in bhajan in every respect. Once somebody wrote to Prabhupada, Vinod is not doing bhajan, chanting nothing else. He's only Taking care Thank of Jamil. Thank you so much time. <laughs> so, Prabhu, Prabhupada told, I am finishing just now. Then Prabhupada told, Who have had. He left something for remnant of others. <laughs> <laughs> who have had against Vinod, they are not Vaishnav. I thought, no one is here like my Vinod. By this way, <coughs> Prabhupada replied very strongly. Then everybody came to know how Srila Bhakti Pragyan Kesar Goswami Maharaj, Vinod of Prabhupada, how near and dear to him. So from that day, no one has dared to say anything against Srila Param Gurudev. When he is reading, when he is doing, none can understand anything at all. So today is appearance we have Srila Bhakti Pragyan Kesar Goswami Maharaj, Param Gurudev. I pay my obeisances. He, based to his costless mercy, just like he fulfilled his Gurudev's desire and serve him eternally, I want to serve in the same way. If anything wrong, please excuse me. I am begging excuse for everyone. If anything is good, then the mercy of Gurudev. So please bless me, then I can serve Gurudev eternally. Hare Krishna. <laughs> First, I offer my unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my Paramarajatama Diksha Guru Pada Padma, Nichalila Bravishta Om Vishnu Pad, Astotara Sutta Sri Srimad Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. And the same unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my Paramarajatama Shiksha Guru Pada Padma. Om Vishnu Pad, Astotara Sutta Sri Srimad Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. And to my Param Gurudev, Nichalila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pad, Astotara Sutta Sri Srimad, Srila Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj. 
to all of our Guru Varga and all the assembled devotees. As Srila Gurudev explained some minutes ago, his Gurudev fulfilled the innermost desire of his Gurudev, Srila Prabhupada, both internally and externally. Sri Padmadav Maharaj explained in the beginning of his dissertation how he fulfilled his innermost desire internally and externally as well. Just as Srila Gurudev explained, Srila Rupa Goswami established the innermost desire of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, especially at Rathayatra time. So, Srila Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj did that same glorious thing in the line of Srila Rupa Goswami by establishing Ratha Yatra in Navadvip Dham. Srila Gurudev mentioned that Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur established so many things that were stopped and would have been washed away from the world had Srila Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj not re-established it, such as giving of sannyas vesh, such as establishing, re-establishing the publications Gaudiya Patrika, Bhagavad Patrika, that is the Bengali and Hindi monthly magazines, and re-establishing Braj Mandala Parikrama and Navadvi Parikrama. But this Ratha Yatra established in Navadvi was not previously established by Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. This was inaugurated by Gurudev's Gurudev. So, a couple of years ago, on Baladev's appearance day, Gurudev was explaining how Baladev is a Kanda Guru Tattva, and it is the duty of the disciple to fulfill the innermost desire of Sri Gurudev. He said that Many, many years ago, back in 1969, there was some criticism of his Gurudev, and he expressed how he served the innermost desire of his Gurudev. As Sri Padmadav Maharaj was giving that in that realm, and then Gurudev said, but we also have to give it in this realm. So, how his Gurudev fulfilled, how Gurudev is fulfilling the innermost desire of his Gurudev in that world and also in this world by protecting his integrity and establishing his glory in the following regard. He said that during the time of his Gurudev, he established Ratha Yatra procession and festival in Navadvip Dham. And while he was physically present, nobody criticized him. A year after he just departed, though, some persons wrote an article giving objections to his doing that. The objections were that it is not following Rupanuga Vaishnavism. The objection was that when the gopis see a chariot, because they remember the chariot of Akrura, they feel terrified in their heart. Their objection was that this was not previously established by Srila Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj's Gurudev, Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, that Navadvip is uh, Veena Vrindavan, it's not different from Vrindavan, and Rathayatra is never done in Vrindavan. No Gaudiya Vaishnava has ever established Ratha Yatra in Navadvi before. Therefore, it's unbonafide. So Gurudev said when he read this article, he said he could not sleep that night. He was so agitated and upset that his Gurudev and his Gurudev's mission was being criticized and with the intention of undermining. So he himself, in December of 1969, wrote an article in his Bhagavad Patrika, uh, defending the 
activity of his Gurudev in a very beautiful way, and I'll try to summarize that. He said, first of all, he said, it's interesting that although this article came from this Chaitanya Saraswat Mat, which is under Srila Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Maharaj, that no one has showed this article to the Honorable Editor-in-Chief Srila Sridhar Maharaj, that they did this independently. Then he said, we will meet objection after objection. The first objection is that Navadweep is non-different from Vrindavan and Ratha Yatra is never performed in Vrindavan. Gurudev said, this is absolutely false because for hundreds and hundreds of years in Vrindavan, in the main temples, Madan Mohan, Govinda and Gopinath temple, in great pomp, and grandeur, the Ratha Yatra festival has been going on. And in all the Goswami's temples, not only in Vrindavan, but in Mathura, in Nandagaon, and in other places in Braj Mandala, in great opulence, the Ratha Yatra pr procession has been going on for hundreds of years. Not only in Vrindavan, not only in Braj Mandala, but the followers of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are doing this also in Bengal. Gurudev gave the example of Kamalakura Pipalai, who is a uh, devotee, associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he was one of the 12 uh, cowherd boyfriends of Krishna, who came as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's associate. And he established Jagannath worship and Ratha Yatra in Bengal. And the Vyas, modern Vyas Dev, since this is Vyas Puja Dev, the modern Vyas, that is Vrindavan Das Thakur, established the worship of Jagannath in his own village of Sripat. And this is going on in great opulence down to the present day. And there are many other examples all over uh, India where Gaudiya Vaishnavism is followed. Another objection, that this is not in the line of Rupanuga Vaishnavism. So Gurudev said, who is Rupanuga? The first Rupa is Rupa Goswami. Rupa Goswami is Rupa Mandri. Sanatana Goswami is one of the first Rupanugas. He is Labanga Mandri. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna in the mood of Radharani. Swarup Damodar is Lalita Vishaka is Rai Ramananda. And they all engaged in Ratha Yatra festival together. In fact, the Ratha Yatra festival is establishing the mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And who is Rupa Goswami? He is the establisher of the innermost desire of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And the Rupa Nuga Vaishnavas are his followers. So Gurudev explained, that, as he said here, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uttered a very beautiful prayer from Sahitya Darpan, that is a mundane Sanskrit poetry of a wife speaking to her husband, Yatka Marahara Saeva Hi. That is, now, O oh husband, you and I are meeting, and it's very nice, but I'm not happy now that we're meeting as husband and wife. Previously, when we weren't married, when there was no free passport to meet, when we weren't allowed to meet, at that time we were so happy. We were under the Vetasi tree. Uh, Reva Rodasi Vetasi Tarutale. The Vetasi tree is a thorn tree, but it's so strong that even in the greatest cyclone or hurricane, or any other tree would break and be blown away and washed away by the wind and waters, the Vedasi tree just bends and flows with the wind. So our love was like that. Although the Vedasi tree is a thorn tree, that means there were so many obstacles to our meeting, that made us have no obstacles. We met freely and we were so happy. But now we have a free pass to meet. But the problem is, now it's getting boring, because there's no risk of that paramour love. 
So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uttered this verse of a mundane poet, and no one could understand it except Sarup Damodar and one boy, that is Rupa Goswami, at that time not Goswami, he was Rupa. And he wrote a corollary verse, Priya so young Krishna, that is, he wrote this verse and put it on his, on the roof of his hut, on a palm leaf, that is, O oh Krishna, you are the same beloved, and I am the same lover, Radharani. And now we're meeting here at Kurukshetra, but I'm not happy here. I want you to come back to Vrindavan, and with your peacock feather in your hair and your flute in your hands, I want to hear you play your sweet flute in the fifth note. So this is the mood of Rathayatra, and Gurudev is glorifying and defending the integrity of his Gurudev by saying, this is the actual mood of Rupanuga. Then another objection is that if the gopis see the chariot, they will be terrified. So here this Rathayatra is a chariot. So Srila Gurudev explained that not every chariot terrifies the gopis. When Uddhav came on his chariot to give the message of Krishna, and then he was leaving to go back to Dwarka. All the gopis and gopis and all the residents of Vrindavan, in great joy, gave Uddhava so many presentations for Krishna and uh, was so happy that he was going to bring their gifts to Krishna. When Baladev came to bring the message of Krishna, everybody in Braj welcomed him and they were so happy. And after killing of Dantavakra, Krishna himself came back to Braj. And all the residents, seeing the chariot with the flag of Hanuman, the flag of Garuda, they leaped for joy, seeing that Krishna was coming back. So this Rathayatra chariot is the chariot of uh, Krishna Laya Braja Jai, A Baba Antare. The internal mood of Rathayatra is that let us take Krishna back to Vrindavan. He's been in Dwarka for 60 or 70 years. The Vrajbasis have been almost dead in separation. And now, by this Rathayatra festival, or by the gopis meeting Krishna in Vrindavan, they're bringing Krishna by heart back to Vrindavan. Another objection was that Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, the Gurudev of our Param Gurudev, never did this. So Gurudev explained that there was a natural commentary of Vedanta Sutra by the very author of Vedanta Sutra, uh, Srila Veda Vyastev, as Gurudev explained this morning. So for a while that was the only commentary, and that was the natural commentary. But then Baladev Vidyavusan, when the time was needed, <laughs> and when there was a criticism that because you go to your Vaishnavas, don't have a commentary for Vedanta Sutra, therefore you're not a bona fide Sampradaya. So Baladev Vidyabhusan was sent by Srila Viswanath Chakrabari Thakur and Jiva Goswami to uh, go to Jaipur and he himself wrote a new commentary. So Gurudev is asking, was this commentary um, a bad thing because it wasn't done before? or did it establish the glory of our Gaudiya Sampradaya? So previously, although Rathayatra was performed in all around Vrindavan, Brajmandala, Bengal, Gaudamandala, it wasn't performed previously in Navadri. But now the time was to establish uh, Mahaprabhu's glories there in this way, to establish Mahaprabhu's mood. So therefore, it's the glory of the Gaudiya Sampradaya, Gurudev is saying that Srila Bhakti Pragyan, Keshav Goswami Maharaj established it. Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur established so many things that weren't going on before. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took sannyas, and the Goswamis, being humble and not wanting to imitate their Istadev, they took only Babaji Vesh, being humble. But later on, that Babaji Vesh became um, what's the word, corrupted, and they all became like Sahajiyas and very proud. 
So, and very degraded in their activities. So Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur re-established sannyas and Daivi Varnashram. That wasn't done before, but he established it because the time was needed. So in this way, Srila Gurudev is defending the glory of his Gurudev. And he said, if one does not um, serve the manobistya or the innermost desire of his Gurudev, or if he cannot do that himself, if he, if he does not support those who are um, establishing and serving the innermost desire of his Gurudev, bona fide Gurudev, then he's not really a disciple, but rather he's a eunuch. So Srila Gurudev is establishing the manobistya of his Gurudev and the manobistya of our Srila Prabhupada, who is establishing the innermost desire of Srila Rupa Goswami Pad, who established the desire of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which is that Krishna wanted to taste the three glories of Srimati Radhika and establish the supremacy of Srimati Radhika and the supremacy of Vrindavan. Just one last thing, in a few days you're going to see a very beautiful drama showing that Ratiyatra is the establishment of the glory of the Brijbasi's love and the glory of the love of Srimati Radhika. Because Krishna was in Dwarka and he was hearing Rohini explain the glories of Braj to the queens of Krishna. By hearing the glories of Braj, Krishna and Baladev and Subhadra all melted to become Jagannath, Baladev and Subhadra. And then Narada seeing this, he said, please stay somewhere in the world, in this form, so that people can gradually develop understanding of the love of Srimati Radhika and the gopis, and follow in their footsteps. Oh, thank you. Vishnupadaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhaktivedanta Samanti Namaha Namaha Vishnupadaya Radhikaya Priyatmane Shri Srimad Bhaktivedanta Narayanti Namaha Namaha Vishnupadaya Acharya Singh Rupane Shri Srimad Bhakti Pragyana Keshaviti Namaha Ati Martya Charitraya Swasrita Nancha Padane Jeeva Dukhe Sadarataya Shri Nama Prema Dhyane Vancha Kampaturu Pascha Kripa Sindhu Bheva Cha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo This auspicious appearance day of our beloved Param Gurudev, Nityanila Pravishta, Om Vishnu Padasto Tarasata Sri Srimad, Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami I would like to attempt to glorify his divine character. We are so fortunate that we are having this opportunity in the presence of his most beloved disciple, our beloved Gurudev, who actually has fulfilled uh, the innermost desire of Srila Param Gurudev within this world. In his Pranam Mantra, Srila Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Maharaj is described as Ati Martya Charitraya. This means that his character, his divine qualities, 
were completely supramundane, completely transcendental in nature. We are uh, fortunate that we have the beautiful biography which has been written by Srila Gurudev. All of us can read and we can hear about his most glorious character and activities. So I want to recount just a few of these beautiful qualities that he possessed. Srila Keshav Maharaj, even when he was a tiny little child, there was one incident which, just like coming events cast their shadows. So Srila Keshav Maharaj, when he was a little boy, he was so very beautiful, and his beautiful effulgent face with his beautiful effulgent eyes were so captivating that all of the older people in the, na in the neighborhood, in the village, they used to call him uh, Jyotsna or Jona because this means moonbeam. So his mother uh, was so attached to her beautiful little child. But one day, after giving him a oil massage with mustard oil and placing him in the sunlight in a neighboring courtyard, one eagle came from the sky, and it, with its talons, it grabbed a hold of this little baby and suddenly flew high into the sky. And everyone became completely terrorized. They could not believe that this was happening. And they were chasing after this eagle here and there. And his mother practically was fainting on the ground. And somehow or other, no one could understand why, very nearby, the eagle flew down again and placed this beautiful baby onto some floating betel nut bark, which was floating in a nearby pond. And, yes, like a boat. And placed this baby down and, and very gently, and he was simply floating there. And then all of the people came and took this baby again and they could not understand how this incident took place, why this came. From his very early childhood, he showed the most extraordinary qualities. Uh, he, when he was going to school, very in his young age, it was very popular at that time that uh, they would perform, the students would perform different types of charitable uh, activities and he engaged along with his school friends in starting uh, a particular association in which they would go to nearby houses and they would beg for clothing and food and such and they would help people who were poor, people who were very uh, uh, sick or they had no means of livelihood. So one day he came back from uh, the entire day, very late at night. His mother, who was actually the uh, daughter of a Zamandari, he took birth in a very uh, high aristocratic Vaishnava family, landowner family in East Bengal. So she was waiting there with a stick because she was raising her son on her own because his father had passed away a few years before. And she was very stern, very... Uh, disciplinarian mother because she was raising uh, her all of her children and so she was waiting there at the doorway when he came back at night with this stick so where have you been she said to him very sternly and he just stood there very peacefully very calmly and she told what are you doing coming back late at night like this this is very bad activity now you will become like some kind of a uh, ruffian going around, coming back late at night. I will never have this. And she was being ready to beat him. Now you answer me. Where have you been? So then, very peacefully and very calmly, he explained. My dear mother, the whole day I was going about in the villages because we were trying to help one lady who had cholera. She was suffering from cholera. And she had no means of support. And she had nothing no one to depend upon. So we went around the entire day and begging from villagers and supplying so many medicines for her and supplying the various needs that she had. 
And now we have settled her and she is, okay, she is getting better from the medicines. So in this way, I was engaged the entire day until this, until this late uh, time. So now I have come home, uh, and when his mother heard these words, immediately her eyes became filled with tears, and she embraced her son. And then she told, I will never discipline you again like this, in this way. So, so many qualities manifested in his childhood character, in his youth, he was also an astonishing scholar. Uh, even in school, his professors sometimes, who were not Vaishnavas, some of them were Mayavadis. In Bengal, they used to use Sri Chaitanya Charitamritam as one of the syllabus. And uh, sometimes they would quote different shlokas from Chaitanya Charitamritam, and then the teacher would begin to explain them in an impersonalistic way. So, at that time, Vinod Bihari would uh, counter them, and he would defeat with perfect Vaishnav Siddhant, and he would completely astonish all of his teachers by his uh, knowledge of Shastra, and his clear understanding and ability to express. So in this way, he proved that so many extraordinary qualities in his youth, and when he was about uh, 15 years old, or 16 years old, he had two aunties, who he was living near, in a nearby village with, and these two aunties were actually the first and the second uh, female initiated disciples of Srila Prabhupada Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur. And uh, they were also very good Vaishnavis, so he became influenced by them very positively, and one day they took him to meet Srila Prabhupada. It was the uh, Gaur Mandala Parikrama time in Sri Mayapur Dham. And Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Prabhupada was staying there 